what we'll do next is we'll talk about how these figures here can be edited. Um, where in this case, it's kind of, um, we don't have that luxury of coming in here. You can see that if we take a look at this line, it actually crosses. So what it looks like they did was they, they started and they, they came down and then they jumped over and said, oh, you know what, we really need one over there. And then they went back over um, to that point up there. So, you know, they, they kind of came down, jumped around. Um, so that's a case where they kind of went out of order. And that's really always been difficult to fix. You really kind of almost got to erase the line and redraw it. But what's nice about this new figure editor is that if I select it and I go to survey figure properties, <clears throat> what's nice about this new figure editor is if I select that figure and I go to survey figure properties and it brings up that dialog box for me. And again, it's showing me the, um, the figure there. What I can do is come down to where that point is. So at 12.02, I can see they went out of order. So they actually, it looks like 12.03 should be next rather than 12.02. So what I can do here is I'm gonna take 12.03 and I'm going to use this command here, that up arrow, and I'm going to move it up so that it's in the right order. And you can see the little graphic here is actually showing me what that line should look like. Now when I go ahead and apply it uh, and click OK, you'll see that I've corrected that line so that it's now going in the proper order. Okay, Not too bad. That, that's actually pretty nice. Um, another case you can see here is I've got two lines, it looks like they've overlapped. So this one here, and I've got this one here. So what I might do is take this one, and same thing, go into Survey Figure Properties. Um, you can scroll down to that last shot. You can see where that last shot is. And if I use the pan, it kind of pans me to the middle. Um, I can also zoom to it, so it kind of zooms me in a little bit. All right, so I'm in the center now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete that point. So I'm deleting that point so it goes back to the other vertice. Um, so if I hit apply and OK, you can see that it's brought that point back up beyond there. Now I want to connect it back to the other one. So if I go back to the, the survey figure properties here, and at the very end, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this command, which is insert vertices from selected points. I'm going to come in and zoom down, all right, so let's zoom down in here, and I'm just going to do a window around that point right there, which I know there's a point there because that's the dot, and when I right click and select enter, you can see that it connects the line to that particular point. So I'm going to click OK, and now I've just connected that line, and I would repeat that process for other features in the drawing, okay? So I would come down and, and connect these dots over here or these lines over here the same way, just repeating the ed edit uh, survey figure properties command, identifying, you can see the direction that it's going. So what I would probably do in this particular instance, if you look over here, that line starting over there. Um, so I'm gonna go to the first point and uh, we'll pan to it and I'll go ahead and hit cancel. And then I'll pick maybe this line down here and see what direction that one's going in. And now when you can see it's kind of going and it looks like they, if you look down here uh, in this corner down at the beginning, um, it looks like they started, went down, and then went back. So I might, again, come down here and reorder those points around so that this is going in the proper direction. And then I would go ahead and connect that point up above to that next line using these, um, you know, these series of tools that are here. All right, so real simple editing, but it makes it nice and it kind of keeps these figures intact. Um, so I would go through and, and edit these figures and kind of go through this process um, to kind of clean up and, and edit the figures. If you notice, we're not drawing lines, we're not placing text, we're not worrying about layers. We're using the survey data in the survey database to produce the drawing in the model that we have here so that we can create a surface here in a few minutes with our points and our figures, which then can be used in the design process. So again, 
it's it's data integrity and keeping everything intact um, within our survey survey um, model and our survey database.